So here's the deal. I'm not really ready to give my kids cell phones yet. And you know, you can call me a bad parent, you can call me whatever you want, but there's just a lot of crazy stuff out there. Someone down in the comments is surely gonna say, hey, you know, cell phones are a part of your kids' social well-being at this point in time, but you know, my kids can learn to socialize on their own and they can talk to other kids just, just like I did and it, it's gonna turn out just fine for them. This is kind of hard since my oldest son has an hour of free time every other day in school where basically the teacher just allows all of the kids to play their cell phones. Now, I remember way back when in my school, they wouldn't even allow us to bring a beeper into school, so I'm not sure what, what it is about allowing kids to play games during the middle of school or whatever, but uh, anyway, he just says he ends up sitting there or watch some, some, watching someone else play games. So I thought I'd give him something because he really likes music. Thought I'd purchase some MP3 players. Now we have five kids. Some of you are going to think that's crazy. They're, they're from 3 to 12. Uh, my 12 year old's about to turn 13. So I thought, you know what, for you guys, if your parents out there thinking about uh, an MP3 player, maybe as an alternative just for a cell phone or just an option to go running or whatever, I thought I'd buy like five of the top selling MP3 players out there and give you my opinion about them. So I came in this with not a lot of expectations. I didn't really want anything other than an MP3 player that, uh, that played music, right? And most of these MP3 players, uh, they play music just fine. In fact, I would say in terms of audio quality, the biggest separation between them has to do with whatever pair of earbuds that you're using. What ends up mattering then is the overall menu and the design. Is this something that I can clip to my shirt? Is this something that is heavy? Is this something that has a clucky interface that is like really hard to use? Quite frankly, some of these were kind of, you know, they were really bad. So I'm kind of wondering if some of the top sellers on Amazon just get there because of fake reviews or people don't just maybe don't know what else is out there. All right, from right to left here, we have the SanDisk Clip Jam Sport. AGP Tech A26. The AGP Tech A01. A Hotex or Hotex or whatever MP3 player. The Wee Woo B3. Now, all of these are basically imported from China. Even the SanDisk one, I believe, is made in China. And some of them are imported from places like Alibaba and put under a different name on, on Amazon. But in one way or another, this design, this design, these designs are some of the more popular in the market. Now I was buying these for my kids, so I wanted something that was easy to use, 
uh, like I said, a good menu. Uh, out of all of these, this is the AGP Tech A01. I would say this one was the absolute worst. Now this comes in a lot of different styles on Amazon and different manufacturer names. That's just people putting their own name on a product that they can get uh, for wholesale. You know, it's got a lock and a power button and it works. It sounds really good once you get it up and running. The only problem is it's heavy in your pocket. And I'm not sure about the design. Is this just supposed to look cool? Or, or what are we going for here? I'm, I'm not sure that it's durable at all. The menu on this was terribly clunky. Uh, it took a while to go from one thing to the other. Um, it looked like it was designed kind of out of the 90s. And you had it, it took a really long time to get where you were going. Once you were there, it was totally fine. And I'm not saying that this product doesn't work well and play songs nicely. The only problem is that all of these MP3 players are in the $20 to $30 range. And so since you can get them all for about the same price, I don't know why you'd want to go with something like that instead of an uh, MP3 player that has a menu that's easy to use. This is the Wii Wii B3. It comes in a few different colors. It's kind of fun for kids. The, be the best part about it is it's intuitive. It plays the music for you, and it's only 20 bucks. So you have a little kid that's going to be like, chucking this stuff around. You know, this is definitely not a bad option. They also have one that has kind of like a bear claw option for that. The menu, I think you have to press the forward button, if I remember right, to, to scroll down, which I thought was a little weird. But um, I find that kids are just about as good as anyone at figuring those kind of menus out. So other than that, uh, you're going to probably need a cheap pair of earbuds to go with that if you don't want to have one already. Uh, but a pretty good option at $20. This is the Hotex or Hotex or whatever MP3 player. Uh, a lot of designs like this on there. It's only 20 bucks too. Um, and this comes in a lot of fun colors too. If you've got little kids, it's a great option. Uh, sounds good. The only kind of weird thing is you have to hold on the menu button to go back anytime you're using this. But other than that, once I figured that out, it really was a pretty good product for 20 bucks. Now, one thing that sets... Uh, this model above the others is that it has a pretty good uh, pair of earbuds. Now, in the description below, I have a link to all my different reviews for each one of these products. So if you want more detail, I'd recommend you go there. But that gives you a good idea of what you're getting with this. Definitely a decent product for your kids. Last but not least, we have two of the more popular options here. It's the AGP Tech A01 and the Santisk uh, Clip Jam Sport. Okay, so between these two, they look a lot alike. This is a bit thicker. They both have this clip on the back, which is really appealing for a lot of people. Now, the, they have similar specs. I believe they can both come in different colors. Um, the AGP Tech is supposed to be Bluetooth compatible. I was not able to get it work to work. Um, I found this menu to be much more modern than the other AGP Tech model that I reviewed. However, it was... Sometimes it would pause between where I was trying to go. So since they're only about a dollar different in price and sometimes the exact same price, the uh, I'd recommend this one, the Clip Jam Sport from SanDisk. And uh, this one's around 30 bucks, so you pay a little bit more than some of these other models that I've reviewed. But overall, it's probably the most professional setup in terms of menu and just, just how everything works. So. I didn't like any of the earbuds that came with any of these models because they all come with a pair of earbuds. So, sorry, except for this one. This one was pretty good. At least it would fit in your kid's ear. They're all the, the kind of metal large earbuds that you see around. Um, so, you know, if you, if you want your kid to actually be able to fit this in, in their ear, the, the earbuds in their ear, you're going to probably need to buy, you know, a pair of $10 earbuds. I recommend uh, the Panasonic ones on uh, Amazon. All right, that's all I have to say about that. If you guys want to buy these products, please go in the description below and use my Amazon links. I get a small kickback for that. That allows me to go out and purchase a bunch of products like this and bring them to you. That's my goal here to actually buy the product and review it for you guys so that ultimately there's no bias between me and the manufacturer sending the product. If you have a question, be sure to ask me in the description below. I'm happy to help. Otherwise, make it a great day.